Hey, 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 it's Felix from Fasting for Fitness back again, and I bring you today the long awaited and long overdue review of this, which is the Echo MX, which is a lightweight hiking boot that Echo nicely sent me a few months ago. I've been using it quite a lot. I've done about 100 kilometers on it now, mainly walking and hiking, a bit of running. So I'm just gonna go through what I think of this boot. <laughs> And before I carry on, I should say, as I just said, Echo did send me this for free, but all they want me to do is test this out in the Alps through the winter and uh, just report back. They haven't limited what I can say. I can talk about negatives as well as positives. So just thought I'd clear that up. Now it's obviously completely subjective. I think they look great. I've got a couple of pairs of black jeans and these look great with them. You can literally come off a dog walk or a hike and go straight to the club. Well, maybe not, but you know what I mean. It feels sturdy, but lightweight, and it's got all the support where you need it. So yeah, look and feel out the box is fantastic. And next is comfort. And this is where these shoes really shine. The Echo MX is 100% the most comfy boot I've got. I can't tell you the amount of times when I've come in from a dog walk or a hike, I've realized in the evening that I haven't actually taken the boots off. They feel like slippers when you're indoors. So comfort is definitely a 10 out of 10. And talking of coming in and leaving them on, these boots are so easy to get on in the first place. I haven't come across a boot, certainly not a hiking boot, or even like a high top trainer, like a Air Force One or something. There's always, there's always a bit of a struggle. You put them in, you've got to undo some laces or you pull the tongue right out. I don't know what it is. They've built in a really good lacing system here. There's just a single speed hook at the top, which I was a bit dubious about at the beginning. But literally, you just slide them on, and do the laces up and you're gone. I think the only sort of outdoor rugged style boot that would be easier to put on than this is like a, you know an outdoor Chelsea boot we obviously just slip it on and there's no laces but for a lace up hiking boot or even like I say a high top trainer these things are super easy to put on they're definitely my go-to shoes if I just want to quickly chuck some shoes on and go to the car or I've got to run the dogs out and it's late at night and I just want to chuck some shoes on these are the ones I go to time and time again there's no faffing around with laces literally you put your foot in do that speed hook and do them up and you're out the door. I've got three pairs of winter boots that I've sort of got in rotation. And to be honest, those two things are why I keep putting these on more than the others. Ease of putting it actually on in the first place, put it on, out the door, and then they're so comfortable, you just forget that they're on your feet. Now next on my bullet points, I've got hiking, running, walking. So for hiking, these are fantastic. Lightweight hiking, dog walking, out in the snow, out in the rain, walking through streams, scrambling up rocks. They're obviously Gore-Tex, and so your feet stay absolutely dry. For walking, like walking around town, hitting the tarmac, jumping on and off the tube, going through airports. It's a very comfy, pretty lightweight shoe. It makes that transition from being an outdoorsy shoe, like a hiking shoe for being out in the elements, to uh, being in the city, traveling. If you're traveling and you want to go lightweight, you just want to take one pair of shoes, you may do lots of walking. There might be some kind of hike involved. You might go to the park. This is a great all round shoe for that kind of thing. Now running, I've done a couple of runs in them, just five or six kilometer ones. When you're trail running on gravel or off-road like I do, a couple of times it's kind of lost its grip because I've come in too tight around a corner and because of the way these grips are, it's not great going that way. They're fantastic going that way or that way, but not so good going that way. They're fine walking, you know, you can scramble around corners, but if you're running and you're really pushing down and you're sliding out that way, it can lose it a bit. But to be completely fair, if you look on Echo's website, there's not one part in the description for this shoe that says it's for running. So next on my little list of bullet points is grip. And I've just talked about that. The grip is fantastic on most surfaces and in most situations. Like I just said, the only time I've lost grip is trail running in this on loose surfaces, pushing out sideways. So the grip's great and it's super big and super comfy and yeah, great for all types of different surfaces. Now that nicely brings me on to the FFF River Run. Now that's mainly going to be hiking and walking on tarmac, off-road, next to the river, in the woods, but there's also going to be a fair amount of running involved. There's going to be between 20 and 25 kilometers per day of actual running, plus about 50 kilometers a day of walking and hiking. I'm really looking for a sturdy shoe that can do both. It's going to be super comfy. Now once this snow melts, I'm going to really put these through the test. I'm going to do some longer runs, do some 10Ks, 12Ks, stick the backpack on, try and do a half marathon with them and 
see how it goes. I've got a feeling for longer runs like that, I don't think the support over the top of the foot here is going to be good enough. We'll see, maybe I can just tighten them and uh, it'll give me enough support. Like I say, this is not a running shoe. Echo doesn't advertise this as a running shoe. I'm just looking for the perfect shoe for this FFF River Run. Now, it could be this, so negative. Much like the Echo Biome 2.1, I really don't have any negatives, except I said when you're running on loose surfaces and that grip, but you know, they're not made for trail running. So it can't really go down as a negative. The three main positives of the Echo MX though is definitely comfort, ease of getting it on and off, and also just that hybrid crossover. You can go from an outdoor dog walk or hike you know, in the rain, splashing through puddles, splashing through streams, scrambling across rocks. And then you can get back to the car, drive into town, and they're just as comfy and just as good on the tarmac as they are on loose, sketchy surfaces. So all in all, it's a double thumbs up for me from the Echo MX. And like I say, they fast become my favorite winter boot. One more thing that definitely bears mentioning before I wrap this up, it looks nearly like it did when it came out of the box over 100 kilometers ago. If I had another hand, I'd give it three thumbs up. The wind's coming up now, the sun's gone, so I'm gonna wrap this up and I will catch you guys on the next one. Later.